This is Eagle Al, and today I'm going to be talking about Sidney Brown putting in that work, and also Sidney Brown, Tyler Steen, officially signed to the Philadelphia Eagles, and Ryan Clark disrespecting the Eagles. But let's get straight into it. All right, so let's put it side by side right here. Sidney Brown working. He out here working out with his trainer. Look like it's strength and conditioning. Cause a lot of people saying this dude just can't hit. Um, I seen them get burnt. I, I can't believe that one. That excuse. I seen them get burnt. Every player get burnt in the NFL, college, whatever. It's how many times you get burnt. That's that's a problem. But overall, I think Sidney Brown will be a gate great safety in the league. I think he's going to be really good. He actually changed his number two to 21. I didn't really report on that. Not sure if that was really important or not. He took Andre Saturate number basically soon as he left. But shout out to um Sidney Brown getting his strength and conditioning right. He's working, working, working. As been reported to me, he's a, a workaholic for sure so he studies he put in the time put in the effort so yeah man shout out to sydney brown working also sydney brown and tyler steen both signed both signed man i know we like our georgia our georgia bulldog guys our philly dog guys we should call them now with the jalen carters nolan smith keely ringo uh, you know, if you want to count the Kobe Dean, Jordan Davis, we love those guys. But the two guys, well, far as in the draft, because no Kobe Dean is start for sure, and maybe Jordan Davis start. But the two guys in this draft that came up that has the opportunity to start, it's the day two guys, the round three guys is Sidney Brown and it's Tyler Steen. I'm hearing Tyler Steen, he's just different. I'm hearing he's different, man. And camp. He looked really, really good. And he I think he might beat out he might beat out Cam Jurgens, and that's okay. I'm telling you, that's okay if he beat out Cam Jurgens. Cam Jurgens should be a center. He remind me of Kelsey a lot. He should definitely be a center in this league. Just, you know, fortunate for us that Kelsey is staying another year. And it's okay to be redshirted for two years, three years. So uh, like I said, I'm here. Tyler Steen is looking really good. And Sidney Brown. Sidney Brown, as everybody knows, that's my favorite safety in the draft. So, yeah, he has an opportunity to start. I think he could beat out Reed Blankenship. As much as I love Reed Blankenship, I think he could beat him out. I honestly think he can possibly beat out Terrell Edmonds, too. So it's going to be really interesting who Sean Desai decide to start. Sidney Brown. Terrell Edmonds. I know a lot of people got him a lock for a reason, but I won't put Edmonds as a lock too fast. It's not like we signed him to a long-term deal or he was a really top five safety in the league. He was a really good safety. Reed Blankenship, when he played, he was a really good safety. Sidney Brown in college, a really good safety. So uh, let's see what can add Kayvon Wallace. I know a lot of people don't like him. But let's see if K1 Wallace can step it up, finally be that guy. And, you know, just try to get in the competition, try to get in the conversation. So, yeah, man, Sidney Brown, those two guys were very important because those two guys had the opportunity to start. Whereas, though, we know Nolan Smith is, he's going to get playing time, but he's not really starting. Keely Ringo might be a special teams guy for the first couple years. So, yeah, man, those two guys in that third round is very important. Like, they're right now players. Besides Jalen Carter, those two other guys is right now players, man. And let's talk about Ryan Clark, man. Ryan Clark out here disrespecting Slay and Bradbury. So he came out with a top five list. Eagles were in that top five. I got to give him props for that. He put first the Dolphins. I can't argue that duo. I can't argue... Ramsey and Xavier Howard. They are really, really good. That's a that's a duo for real, for real. Number two, this is where it gets goofy. He put Gilmore and Diggs. I don't think Diggs is better than Bradbury or Slay. I don't think Gilmore is better than... 
I, I don't know. It's really a toss up between him and Slay. I don't want to just say he's not better than, but let's be honest. James Bradbury been possibly the best safety in the league. I mean, best corner in the league. It gets goofy when you put the Cowboys number two, number three. He put the Jets, a light sauce gardener, DJ Reed. But we're talking about it, two guys and Darius Slay and Bradbury. One was an all pro. One was a pro bowler. That's a bit goofy. So number four, he put the Eagles. Number five, a lot of people don't like the Seahawks there. A lot of people don't because who well, they got Woolen and Witherspoon, who they just got out of college. I believe that's a bit unfair, but another team's not coming to mind and replace at that number five. But this list was all jacked up. It was all jacked up, man. You got to move the Eagles to number two. I will put the Cowboys number three, Jets number four, and Seahawks number five. But you got to move the Eagles up because they accomplished a lot. And we're talking about the number one pass defense. Even though they look poo-poo in the Super Bowl, but overall season, yeah. Slay and Bradbury have been very, very good. And I think even the Super Bowl, I think the defensive coordinator just got out-schemed. It wasn't really their fault. Like, there was a lot of motions, a lot of confusion on the defensive side. So that's just being out-schemed more than the play, if you get what I'm saying. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about Sidney Brown working? Our two, basically, possibly starters from the draft, his sign, officially signed. And Ryan Clark's list, I, I didn't like it. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.